After months of development, I'm excited to announce that my new plugin, Director 3D, is finally here. I had two goals when making this. One, provide a plugin that makes 3D easy and accessible for people that are new to Blender, while at the same time making everything customizable enough for advanced users. I also wanted to give editors a tool that could help reduce the reliance on traditional assets they use for their workflows. So you don't have to use the same preset overlay clips, now you can create your own, customize it, render it, pop it right into your asset folders. So let's give you a quick rundown of what we're giving you. I'm going to keep this as a brief showcase. Inside the plugin there's going to be a tutorials button, so if you're stuck on anything, it'll take you directly to a full tutorial playlist on how to customize and use each thing in the plugin. This of course wouldn't be possible to create without the help of the amazing Blender community, so if I did learn something that's in this plugin from somebody else, their credits will be in the shader editor. Now the cool thing about this, this is an ongoing project, we're going to be adding content packs, new features going forward that you guys will be able to click the drop down and select. So starting off we have templates, cars, custom character, flying animation, display case, heavy dubstep, chain, ocean, particle spin, procedural city. Now each of these presets has a way to customize it to your liking, whether it's the shader or whether it's more advanced things like procedural generation. So I click city and it automatically adds it into my project. If you wanna change anything, select your object, click on this little tools icon, and you have all of these buttons here to control anything you need with the city. You can even add in fog just with this little checkbox. Fog is gonna to react to the light. So again, a ton of different procedural tools. You don't even need to use these buildings here. As you see, these are the presets. If you want to add in your own buildings, just drop them into the collections. For example, I'll make a cube. I'll put that cube into the large buildings collection. We'll bump up the large buildings density, and now you can see the cubes being procedurally generated on that plane. We'll go into the full features in that tutorial setting. There's a lot more you can do with this, things like weight painting and other specific things. But just going through, a lot of these are built so that they can react to your specific audio. So for example, this one, if I play here, there's nothing happening, but we included in this little uh, link audio to property button under tools. So you can literally select any value, like for example, the color, you can keyframe any value you want animated to the audio. We'll go to tools, link audio to property, and it's automatically going to let you load in your own song. So I'll pick this random MP3 and you see as we play here, it's going to change color depending on how loud the song is. Again, everything customizable. If, if you want to change those colors, everything is labeled here so it's easy to use. You also have these cool customizable things like this. It says text and that's because all you have to do is click edit and then type in anything you want. You can also change any of your fonts. Come in here. You guys can even display diamonds across this. Now the custom character, this, this is essentially a placeholder for a Daz character. So if you guys go and use Daz Studio to create a lot of your 3D characters, all these little parts on the character are going to match up with your Genesis 8 character. And you see we have different clothes that you can check on and off. You can change the color of any of these. Again, everything's labeled for you. So if I want to make this red, these are also all linked to the rig. So again, you can just drag and drop this onto your new character. And then if you go into pose mode, say you want to animate this guy, you see it's all going to move with the pose. We also have this um, diamond grill shader, which is cool. You can connect any of these presets. Say you want gold teeth. There's different alpha maps here, so you can have different style of the grills. And again, you can just drag and drop this material here onto your own custom Daz character. Now let's move on to the effects panel, which is probably my favorite panel here. You guys get a ton of these procedurally generated effects. So say for example, you want to go into your video and add some sort of asset. Well again, like I mentioned before, you had to rely on those pre-rendered clips. Now you can make your own pre-rendered clips just with a click of a button. So we wanna add in butterflies, and you'll notice here, you get this object that says draw butterfly. All you have to do is click tab to go into edit mode, and then draw any curve here with this button, and it's going to procedurally generate these butterflies on that curve. So you can go in and put your video as a placeholder. We'll show that in the full tutorial series, and literally just click and create butterflies. And again, the same here, go to your modifiers, and you have some custom controls for how you want these to behave. So that's butterflies. You can also do that with things like fire. So here's the look of the fire. You wanna select draw fire, and then let's add in like a cube here. Go into edit mode. You can draw on the 3D cursor like this, or you can draw on a specific surface. And then if you click play, you have your real-time fire, which again, you can customize everything you need with the fire directly from this panel. Same goes for things like barbed wire. Just draw it in. 
So a lot of them are drawing effects. A lot of them also apply directly onto the object, which is pretty cool. So we can go in here and put in fiber optic lights. So if you want these around any type of object, select the object you want, select the placeholder, and then you just come over to tools. We have a bunch of things that I use in Blender that are useful, copy paste modifiers, transformations, origin, things like that. So I can just go bam, and now it's on my object. And that works again with anything. So we'll put in Suzanne here, select, select, bam. So to show off the other parts, 3D Logo Maker, the objects, Light Studio materials, I'm gonna show you how quick it is to make an easy little example render. So we're gonna start off with some text. Anytime you wanna change your text, you just select it, tab into edit mode, and just write in anything you want. We can change our font. So we'll come over to font. You can change any of these just to shape it the way you want. So just in a couple of clicks, we have our stylized 3D text. Now let's move on to making this render look better. And we can do that with the Light Studio. This gives you a bunch of lighting presets. And it also gives you easy little buttons like add a cyclorama. So it's gonna add in this nice studio backdrop. And you'll see here, it's also gonna give you controllers for the lights. So anytime I add a light in my scene, if I just click light and I just keep spamming lights, it's going to dynamically add in a controller for those. So say everything looks too bright, I can come in here, change the power. I can select the specific light I want, move it around. I can name the light or I could just get rid of all these lights and I can build it from scratch. I can either do that by adding three point lighting here, which is gonna give you your basic setup. See key light, fill light, backlight, select those. And these are all in a light control object. So wherever you click and move this, you'll see the lights are going to automatically point there. So instead of having to painstakingly move them all, you can just set that light control on your object, select your key light, maybe move that over, fill light. There you go, it's automatically pointing to where you need it. So that's if you wanna do it from scratch. If you don't, you can also use any of our presets. So let's go with split tone. And again, we'll bump these up a bit. For any reason we wanna change the materials, you can select anything you have selected here. Just choose your preset. We have some cool stylized ones like this. This one is an iridescent shader, which is pretty cool. And then you have a giant library of 3D objects. So this is over 100 3D objects, mainly to help you create your own 3D logo for your website, whatever, for your branding or just titles. But there's also ones for creating little visualizers, objects like this, some music video-esque cool things. So I can add in a globe, scale it up. If I wanna change the material, easy as that. And yeah, that easy, all by using the plugin. If I wanted to pimp this out even more, again, I could go in with some effects and go like that. Yeah, I think that tools like this are what we need as video editors upgrading our skill set, giving us full control over what we do and making it accessible so that a person sitting at their house can do this. We're using Blender for this, a free 3D software. Anyone can get into this and start building fun things. So to end it all off, if you need any help, uh, we have our info here. We have our tutorials and our tools. There's also the animation panel, which is super cool in of itself. Bunch of MoGraph things. Uh, speaking of relying on different assets, a lot of people use mix mode. They don't have these modern sort of, they don't have any of these modern sort of um, dances available to them. So if you want to animate your character, so if you want to animate your character with these modern style animations, super easy to do. And yeah, that's about it guys. This is only the tip of the iceberg. There's so many things within this plugin that I will dive into in the full tutorial series. Check out the new website here. So this is our old website and this is our new website. A lot more modern, clean, and easy to use. And we have our Director 3D right here if you guys are interested. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.